Virgo, what's up? This is your love reading, November 1st through the 7th, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all about it. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know them, just Google birth charts. Super easy to find out. All right. And as always, um, this can be for you or the person that you're dealing with, right? You know, both ways. It's up to you to figure that out. So, overall, you have the Six of Pentacles reversed. You're feeling like something isn't equal, whether it's a relationship or some situationship, whatever it is that you're into right now, you feel like it is not equal. You're not both putting in the same effort. You're not both putting in the same amount of time, the same love, whatever it is for you. You don't feel like it's out of balance or you don't feel like it's in balance. You don't feel like everything is shared equally. Now, your recent past, you have the tower but it's reversed so something shocking something that you didn't prepare for something that you can't prepare for something that came totally out of out of the blue shook up your whole life your whole foundation and you you resisted and you probably still are because it's the recent past so the tower only comes when it has to we know this right um, it doesn't come when shit is stable. When things are built on a stable foundation, the tower can't come in and knock it over because it's stable. It only comes when shit's unstable and it comes to knock shit down that's not working so that you can rebuild something that actually is working and is stable, okay? So if you're still resisting that, that change, whatever it is, um, you can't stop the tower. So it's best to just not resist it and just go with it because it's going to make things a lot easier for you. Now you're present. The Ace of Wands. Reverse. Um, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with one you don't have to be. Anyway, reverse. This is a lack of passion, lack of drive, lack of energy, lack of sex, um, whatever it means for you. It's you don't feel like there's any kind of new beginning. You don't feel like there's any kind of passion. You know, you might be feeling drained, tired, whatever. Um, you're just not very motivated or they're not, whatever. Take it however it is for you. Now in your future, you have the full. This is Aries energy if you're dealing with one you don't have to be. But it's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, you know. It's just jumping right into whatever it is. If it's a new relationship or you know, this one changes somehow, it's just jumping right in. It's not really thinking about all the things that could go wrong in the future. It's just kind of like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. We'll see what happens, you know. Now your outcome, you have the hermit. Um, this is your energy, all right? So that's awesome, right? You always want to come up in your own reading. Um... <clears throat> Jeez, sorry guys. So it's you being in your power. It's you being yourself, right? Um, anyway, and it's going within. It's going within. It's reflecting. It's processing. It's learning, you know. So let's clarify these guys. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Virgo. November 1st through the 7th. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Virgo. You could have money issues in your relationship too. Um, or maybe someone isn't helping out around the house. Somebody feels like they're doing all the work. You have the High Priestess as your overall with that. So this is awesome. This is you being in balance in yourself, right? So... You and your partner, whatever it is, whatever person you're dealing with, you two might not be in balance together, but you yourself are. You're in balance. Um, you're listening to your intuition. You're paying attention to what your gut's telling you, and that's awesome. All right, let's clarify this tower. What was this tower all about?
Five of Cups, sadness, not extreme sadness, but sadness, depression, nonetheless, it's crying over spilled milk, things that happen that are done, they're over with, there's still two cups back here that he's not seeing, right? If he would just get up, stop looking over the, sh looking, yeah, stop looking at all of the shit that went wrong and turn around, he would see that he still has two cups left, all is not lost. All right, it's kind of just learning to focus on the good and not the bad. So like with a tower moment, you know, you're probably focusing on whatever, how scary it is, how shocking it is, everything's crumbling. But if you just get up and turn around, you still have two cups left. It's not all lost. <coughs> still doesn't tell me what the tower moment was about though. So we'll see if I can get something out of that again later. But let's clarify the Ace of Wands in your present. Ten of Swords reverse, all right? The Ten of Swords is crisis, it's defeat, it's despair, it's heartbreak, it's betrayal, it's pretty shitty. Now reverse. Um, um, you, you may be staying in that energy too long or you might just be coming out of it and not ready to move forward and with a new beginning with this ace of wands reverse so because you have you went through this crisis whatever you're going through this crisis um you don't have the strength you don't have the energy the drive the motivation to start something new either with this person or with someone else um now the good thing about tens is it's not going to get any worse than it is right now that's it you've completed it it's done it sucks the worst is right now it's not going to keep getting worse in the future okay <coughs> clarify the full for virgo in their future five of wands reverse more fire energy aries leo sagittarius um this is not engaging in conflict anymore, petty conflict, petty battles, um, <coughs> respecting people's differences, you know, just disengaging from the stupid petty drama. All right, clarify the hermit for Virgo. Oh, okay. Five of Pentacles. This is feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned. So you might be, you know, feeling like shit, maybe like embarrassed humiliated whatever and it causes you to go within it causes you to hide out you know hide from the world and just go go within and reflect all right now before we get your advice card i want to pull another clarifier see if i can get something more with this tower for you what is this tower moment for virgo Three of Swords. You know what that is, guys, right? I mean, look at the card. So it's betrayal. It's somebody stabbed you in the heart. Somebody broke your heart. It could have been a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Um, but it was unexpected. You weren't expecting this person to do this to you. Sorry, guys. That's really shitty. Um, all right. Let's get your advice. So your advice, you have the emperor. This is reminding you who you are, reminding you of your strength, <coughs> right? The, the emperor is a boss. He's a CEO. He runs empires. He's the king of kings. He has everything. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, the emperor. It's you standing in your power. It's you remembering how powerful you are. You have control over everything that happens in your life, okay? Don't forget that. You have everything that you need all by yourself. You're strong enough. You have enough abundance. You're stable enough. You can do this all on your own, all right? And the Five of Cups reverse. This is just telling you to not stay in that depressed energy for very long pay attention to the two cups that are still there make sure you are not 
letting yourself think that everything's over, you know, it's complete tragedy, I don't have anything left, because you do. You just have to get up and look at everything. You'll see these two cups still there, okay? All right, guys. Um, what else do I have to say? Nothing really. Just go within. You know, take care of yourself after this crisis shit. Get your energy back. Get your motivation back. Remember who you are. Okay? Take care, guys.